We thank you, Heavenly Father, and stand in the gap in Jesus' name for anyone who may feel discouraged and down as if life is going nowhere. They have questions that may seem unanswered and they may feel stuck in life, just don't know what to do. Some, Father, have called on your name and some have received you as their Lord and Savior and feel as if the world has turned their back on them, including their family members and their friends. Heavenly Father, we thank you that your word is the truth that sustains us forever. And I thank you for letting them know that today they are not alone. They are not alone, Father. We thank you for Jesus Christ that ever lives to make intercession for us. He stands in the gap in heaven, praying for us at the right hand of God when we're in need in the name of Jesus in all ways. We know that Acts is a very good, profound book, Heavenly Father, about Saul. They are not alone because Saul had the same issues, Heavenly Father. He was a zealous persecutor of the Christians before his conversion. And we understand that on his way to Damascus, he encountered a blinding light that you sent from heaven. It was so powerful and bright that it struck him down. And he heard a voice saying, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? We understand, Father, this encounter led to a dramatic conversion as Saul realized that his true identity of the voice was, yes, indeed, Jesus Christ. Saul grappled with his newfound faith and he spoke with Ananias, Heavenly Father, in chapter 9, instructing him to go and lay hands on Saul for healing. Ananias, though initially hesitant, as we are a lot today, Father, due to Saul's notorious reputation, obediently follows God's commands. Through Ananias, Saul receives sight, is baptized, and is filled with the Holy Spirit. And Saul wastes no time in boldly proclaiming Jesus as the Son of God in the synagogues, astonishing many with his newfound zeal. However, we know, Father, that his preaching stirred great opposition and he faced threats on his life. The disciples lowered him one day in a basket through an opening in the wall to escape, highlighting the early challenges of his newfound faith. Saul attempts to join the disciples in Jerusalem, but even the disciples feared him. As we reflect on Saul, which is the Apostle Paul's incredible transformation, we are reminded of the power of redemption and your ability to change our hearts. Saul, who was once a persecutor of the Christians, became the Apostle Paul a fervent preacher of the gospel. But this story also highlights the necessity of preparation in our own lives to prevent unnecessary losses. But Barnabas vouches for Saul, emphasizing the authenticity of his conversion. Saul is then accepted and he begins actively participating in the community, strengthening the believers in their faith. Heavenly Father, we thank you because we are reminded of the power of redemption and your ability to change hearts. We know that Paul, who was then Saul, once persecuted Christians. He hated you, Heavenly Father. But later, he became the Apostle Paul, a fervent preacher of the gospel. And this story also highlights, Father, our necessity, Heavenly Father, our dire need of you in order to live a fulfilling life. Living a fulfilling life, Heavenly Father, we know is sharing the gospel with all who would hear in the name of Jesus. 
and we understand that the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony is what also destroys yokes heavenly father that's how we overcome that's how we help others overcome heavenly father is by seeking first you father the kingdom and your righteousness you said in your word that all other things when we do this will be added unto us father someone is lost father but God at the same time someone is also nervous to reach the lost because they know of their reputation they know of what they did just last night Heavenly Father they know of the thoughts in your in their minds that doesn't align with your will father but God you always have someone to vouch for those who belong to you God and we thank you in the name of Jesus. And I pray that you encourage the hearts, God, that may be heavy and afraid, Heavenly Father, or feel intimidated to share, God, the gospel and share their testimony. God, it shall break yokes, Heavenly Father, and bring those out who are bound and captive to fear and oppression, God, of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Father, just as you never left the Apostle Paul, who was then named Saul, you will never leave your people. Never will you forsake them in Jesus' name. And that's how serving you, aiming to please you, Heavenly Father, living a life for you, God, is how we live a fulfilled life in the name of Jesus Christ, God. Let us remember that we should, Father, obey you and prepare because preparation plays a critical role in shaping our destinies. We don't want to do anything, Heavenly Father, half-hearted, God. Heavenly Father, when it comes to service unto you, Father, when it comes to fulfilling our lives, even having fun, everything doesn't have to be so spiritual all of the time, God. We are human, Heavenly Father. In the name of Jesus, we have God a human nature as well as divine because of the Holy Spirit that lives within us, God. You want us to have fun in life and go places, Heavenly Father, and laugh and dance, Heavenly Father. God, but we also, Father, need to prepare so that when the enemy comes, we are not caught off guard. When opposition comes, like it was with the Apostle Paul, he knew what he did to Christians father he knew all the Christians that he had also murdered God and some people really didn't believe that he was truly changed as he said he was but then you had someone to vouch for him Barnabas said he, he is he is sent of God he is true he is a Christian and then others accepted him Father, there is no need. Somebody may feel like they need to explain themselves that they're not the they're not the same as they used to be, God. Remind them, Heavenly Father, they don't need to explain themselves. You've already vouched for them. You've already gone before them and prepared the way in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So calls them to be confident in you, Heavenly Father, in Jesus Christ's name, resting assured that you do all things well and that you have their back and that when they open their mouths, you shall speak for them and through them in the name of Jesus Christ. You physically and spiritually equip us, God, as we prepare by doing our part, God, to navigate success through the challenges of life with resilience in Jesus name we invest continuously father in our own personal growth in our faith in our relationships in the name of Jesus so that we can prevent God losses God as a result of not being prepared that are within that is our control so father let us embrace the journey of preparation let us embrace the call of God on our lives. Let us embrace this beautiful, fulfilling life, Heavenly Father, that you have granted us, trusting in your transformative power for a victorious life in the midst of challenges in the name of Jesus.
not only that father you said you are the preserver of your children you preserve us heavenly father so in that instance calls us to stay God prepared since you are the preserver help us heavenly father stay strong because you are our strengthener and provider and may we experience the fullness of God's blessings in our journey we decree it and declare it so and so it is we sign this prayer in Jesus name and we seal it with his precious blood amen